Uh-oh. Okay, their relationship's already going down. They're getting into dangerous territory. They're staring at each other. <gasps> ah! to another episode of Academic Adventures. All right, so the last episode, very dramatic. We had Cedric's prom and he did a lot of things that weren't too great, hurt some people. Um, and now it is the Monday after prom. It is his first day back at school after the incident. Okay, so right off the bat, he is talking to Colin. It says, Colin and Prince Cedric now despise each other. I thought that it happened last time. So this is literally the first First person who's seeing, I feel like Colin like waited for him to show up so he could give him hell. I, oh my gosh, he's literally pranking him. Okay, okay, all right, this is a lot. Cedric, okay, I think I think we should walk away. This was literally the first thing that happened as soon as he walked into the school grounds. He also, Cedric, has been trying to text Tally after everything after prom and Tally hasn't responded. So I kind of feel like Tally is fed up with him. Um, this has been his friend for a while. I'm going to have him come talk to Tally and just be like, hey, like I I've been texting you. <laughs> I don't know, discuss interest. <laughs> Say hi to her. But I don't I don't know if Tally's going to want to talk to him. Colin has turned his sister against Cedric, and, but then of course his sister's dealing with her own things, like basically being overthrown by Penny. Penny won prom royalty at prom and is now walking into school with Chelsea's ex, Bahir, and they are now together. We saw that in the last episode. They are now dating. Okay, so Cedric is coming in to talk to Tally. I don't know, is, is she fine? Is she acting? Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Okay, their relationship's already going down. Cedric was asking about how she felt after the prom thing. I feel like Tally thinks Davy. I mean, I, I feel like she kind of. She gets along with quiet people. Her and Cedric have been friends since they were kids, but I don't know if you guys have noticed too, but I, I, it feels like Cedric's kind of brushed her off to the side a lot since they got to high school. Oh, now he's angry. But it feels like Cedric has kind of pushed Tally off to the side. Obviously, he was going through a lot especially after Amir's death but he did kind of seem to be doing that a little bit beforehand too then the fact that he just hurt Davy at prom and everything too oh is he going to class right now yeah he's attending math class their relationship was so high a second ago and now it is like less than half and I don't know I just it feels like Tally was like one of his only real friends um he still has his cousin sissy I'm sure sissy kind of like gave him a, an earful too. I don't know like I mean they they still have like half a friendship so things aren't completely in the negative or nothing's completely in the red. It does here as you can see though Davy and Colin they both had a really high friendship with Cedric and then him and Davy had a little bit of a romantic relationship but now there it's just like completely red especially for Colin completely red romance for Davy he is holding a grudge and also they don't really have that high of a friendship either. I I don't even know. Did Davy come to school? He did. Okay, so Cedric came to this downstairs classroom to try to talk to Davy, but Davy's sister, Renata, who we haven't really seen much, but she's here. She's also mean, apparently. They were literally just arguing. It says they're having an unpleasant conversation, although it says that she is feeling happy. Um, but Cedric wanted to come down here to talk to Davy, and Davy just like straight up left. Then Renata was like, no, you're not talking to my brother, not after what you did to him. So this is definitely going horribly. I don't know where Colin went. Bahir and Penny, obviously they like kind of just started dating. We saw Penny and Chelsea, they got into a huge fight. I kind of want to like just control her real quick. Also, it looks like Tally is now hanging out with Cassidy and probably Nora too, which we, we've seen them hang out with them before. And to be fair, Cassidy and Nora were also kind of hanging out with 
Chelsea in them, but I, I kind of feel like they were just tagging along and they just wanted to go out and probably just be with each other. But we didn't really get to see if anything happened with them at prom, just with all of the chaos. So I am really quick going to have them do a little bit of flirting and just be like, oh my gosh, prom was so crazy, right? Like, yeah, I, I totally wish we were able to hang out more with each other. <laughs> Cassidy is now feeling very flirty broccoli from eating a harvestable. Okay, interesting. Would now be the place to reveal a crush? So we're about to go see William. When we see William, he it will have been a couple months of a time skip. In the next episode, we will see, since it will have been a time skip, it's going to be the debutante ball in the next episode and I'm going to be real with y'all especially with how things are going probably don't expect it to be like other debutante balls because Cedric is going through a lot right now I wonder if he's even considering going to the debutante ball but he's having a horrible day he is feeling enraged again the blue oh my gosh oh <gasps> the sad from people peeling away from feeling hurt by somebody nearby can Prince Cedric truly call himself a people person when his friendships come up heart so easily I feel like that is so him right now like that fits this situation so well okay so we have now come back to the Windenburg Palace Cedric has just gotten home from school and he is feeling very sad of course he has the sad bomb from the emotion bomb quirk he's feeling guilty seeing that sim reminds Prince Cedric that he still feels kind of bad about how he treated them so I, I mean that could be Davy that could be Tally friendship that unraveled definitely from Tally Prince Cedric regrets not being a good enough friend even if it might not be entirely his fault and then missing my friend Prince Cedric is feeling sad from losing a precious friend also even more ashamed with Prince Cedric feels like he wronged a sim seeing that sim unhappy makes him feel bad is it Prince Cedric's fault kind of kind of now Prince Cedric is crying it out I, maybe Jabari kind of like saw him walk in I'm gonna have Jabari come in here, knock on the door, and just like ask if he's okay. Let's see, Jabari come in, in here. Alice May is currently, she's working, she's doing her monarch duties. Uh, Caspian is working out. Cedric, or not Cedric, Benji is, is just out. It looks like Benji did a workout and then is, oh no, he has fleas! Benji, no! No, no, come back. Okay, I'm gonna give him a vet treat. Will that cure your fleas? Uh, oh my God, it does. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Anyway, okay, so, oh, Cedric's playing on Alice May's Switch. Um, but Jabari, I'm going to have you talk to Cedric or like ask what's wrong, promise to help, be like, hey, bud. Um, are, are you okay? <laughs> where, where, oh, you're putting your book back, okay. So Jabari is currently comforting Cedric. I'm going to have Cedric tell Jabari what is going on. He's, I feel like kind of ashamed to tell his dad the story, but I don't, I don't think he really knows who to turn to right now. I guess if Alice May came here first, he'd probably, oh, now he's feeling confident. Um, he probably would have told Alice May, but she is, is currently busy doing her monarch duties. Cedric, can you not hold the switch? I'm going to have Cedric ask for advice. So he's filling Jabari in on everything, asking for some advice. I feel like Jabari would be listening to this, hearing what Cedric has done and be like, Oh my god. <laughs> like, trying not to show it. He doesn't want Cedric to not come to him about these things in the future, so he's kind of just like watching the way that he reacts to all of this. So we're gonna do a deep conversation. Jabari's hearing all this and kind of telling him, like, after Cedric's told him everything, and he's just kind of like, you know, I don't think I have to tell you how wrong that was. It seems like you are dealing with a lot of the consequences. So, you know, you know that it's wrong. At least Jabari reached parenting level eight. I feel like Jabari's just like, stuff like this happens. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Like Jabari knows he's made his mistakes. All the Cedric is, is still feeling sad, but let's see. I'm gonna just tell him like, you'll be okay. Like that's just kind of part of growing up. You're learning from your mistakes and that's good. I, I know it, it does suck right now, but you know, that's kind of, you're realizing that's what happens when when you do treat people this way. And, and unfortunately you had to learn the hard, hard way. And he's like, you know, maybe they'll come around. I think you're realizing now like what you've done. I'm gonna hug him lovingly and then just telling Cedric like for now maybe just it's gonna take some time if people come around it's gonna take some time so just maybe focus on yourself right now obviously we're still dealing with a lot after 
your brother's death. He's giving him a hug. He's trying to be there for him, but just saying like, but I, I, I am here for you. Your sister's here for you. Caspian's here for you. Like you have people who are here for you. He'll probably tell Alice May about this later. Uh, Cedric will. So, I mean, I did mention that Cedric kind of made that suit in the last episode. He made his prom suit with like all the bedazzled stuff. Let's see, influence to influence skill building, influence, influence to paint or like design. Just be like, focus on, on things, on, on some on some skills right now, is that what you would say? Um, so Cedric is, is just like, okay, maybe, yeah, you're right. I just need to like take a step back. Cedric's kind of been in a shell and taking things out on everyone else and acting in a way because of that, but he just needs to take a step back, focus on himself. So maybe he'll focus more on, on the design aspect of things. But this is again, the day after prom. So we're going to do a couple months time skip. We're gonna go see William. Benji's such a good boy, just waiting there. Um, but we're gonna go see William, and in the next episode, we'll get an update on what Cedric has been up to over the past few months. We'll see if anything kind of changes with the relationships, um, and we'll see if he wants to go to his debutante ball. All right, we are now in Brightchester with William. So he's just hanging out of the house. We're about to invite Kanda over. Um, and if you missed it, I did post my first story post in a while, uh, and I will link it in the description below. Kanda and William have been hanging out for several months now. Alice May kind of brought, when they came to visit, all the friends came to visit. Um, they got closer and just to hang out a lot with each other and they, started to form crushes on each other. So I'll show you the sentiments here. So this is romantic interest. It's too early to tell, but there could definitely be something there. They have good compatibility, they're neighbors, um, and they have crushes on each other. They both have that sentiment. So I feel like they were both kind of like, oh no, for a couple reasons. I don't think any of, I thought with William especially, he wasn't really, looking for a relationship, but I kind of feel like sometimes that's when someone, something happens, someone shows up when you're not looking for it, when you're least expecting it. And now he's got a crush on Kanda. And then with Kanda, she is like, crap, he dated Gia. Like her and Gia aren't that close anymore, but he, he dated my friend and we're friends. I don't want to ruin this, especially because I feel like Kanda's still pretty messed up from her past relationship with Manit. Um, he did cheat on her. They were dating for a long time and I feel like she got her heart broken for that. That was a long time ago, but I think she has major trust issues since then. So I am going to have have William invite over Kanda. Technically not a date. Oh my gosh, is that the only option? Ask out on date. Can I inv- Oh, she's here. She must be here. Focus. Oh, oh, okay. She's like kind of on the lot. Okay, ask to hang out. I think they've had this movie night plan. The story post I think took place like a couple days before this. Like the Friday before this, and now it's Monday. And then they were planning on having this movie. Oh my god, oh, that's so weird when they're both on the road. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're both feeling flirty, just being around each other, swooning over a crush. Okay, let's let's go back though. Let's go back to the house. We're supposed to have a movie night. Um, so where where did the house go? Okay, I found the house. Man, that's far away. Okay, so we're, they're gonna go sit and chat on the couch. We're going to watch a movie together, watch movie with. Let's see, what did they want? Watch Sims of the Ooh, a horror movie? <gasps> mm, yes, 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 yes. Watch Sins of the Dead with Kanda. All right, they're in here. Oh, Kanda's still carrying her homework. I don't, may, I mean, maybe if they've, oh, why, oh, hello? Why, why is she just sit up and sit? Oh, now she's doing push-ups. She's like, I, get rid of these feelings. I gotta do push-ups real quick. Kanda, can you come sit down though? Can I control you too? Oh, she, she's coming to sit down anyway. Okay, so now now they're just watching this movie, this scary movie. What are you gonna do with the scary movie? Are, is, does either of you, are you gonna get scared? Is William more scared of horror movies than Kanda is? Discuss interest, they're just chatting. I feel like this is hard. Like if they didn't already have this planned, I don't know if they would've 
met this soon. Because I feel like, but, oh no, you make this day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. All right, so they're, they've got not even just like the romantic uh, or just the attraction to each other, but also just like, now they have this friendship basis. And, and we know William already thought she was like very attractive when he first met her. The first thing he said to Alice Bay about her was what, she's hot. <laughs> so we already know that, flatter. But yeah, I, I, I wonder because now William, I think both of them just like, one, don't want to ruin the friendship. And, and also the fact that Gia dated William before it and Kanda and her used to be closer. I think Kanda's a pretty much a, usually a girl's girl. So now she's trying to suppress these feelings. She's like, it's okay. William probably just wants to be friends too. No biggie. William is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're really good friends. And I'm very, like literally he saw her. They both saw each other and immediately feel flirty. Like, what is this now? Dreamy eyes from crushing on someone nearby. Oh no, he is down bad. Can they fight this attraction? They keep getting more and more sentiments. Yep, Kanda's also swooning over crush from having a crush, feeling close from feeling close with someone nearby. Deep connection. Oh my gosh, it is so much more than just attraction. Can't, can't, what if we just do like a little flirt? What if we just, just, you know, e ease into oh, physical intimacy? What are the options? Kiss hands, snuggle, make a move. Would William make a move? No, am I doing this right? Ask about interest, ask risque question. What's like an accidental thing? Tease flirtatiously. Let's do, oh my gosh, Candace like, <laughs> Okay, tease flirtatiously. Oh my, oh, oh, did I, wait, is this teasing flirtatiously? This is a bit more than teasing, I feel. Oh my God, they're getting so close. Oh my gosh, what do we do? What do we do? Compliment appearance? Be like, um, I, I, I just, I, um, you look really, really nice. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, I think William is just like, they got really close and William was like, what do I do? What do I say? What do, what do, oh, she smells nice. She looks really nice. What? Panda can tease flirtatiously too. We're getting into dangerous territory. We're getting into really dangerous territory. Make a move. What if they're all just caught up into it now? What if he's like, we're, she's right there. She's right there. I don't know. I I, I'm, um, oh my god, they're so close to each other. Make, make a move. Tickle, tickle. Wait, no, um, okay, make a move. Ah, William. I feel like he did that way less confidently, though. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh, hand, hand, hand. They're staring at each other. Okay, I, we're, he, he's gonna kiss her. He's gonna kiss her. He's totally gonna kiss her. I mean at this point What do you do? They're like this is this is it's it's things are too steamy right now It's a suggestive conversation. Oh, how sweet Lord William really appreciated receiving that kind of attention from Lady Kanda just now that affection made him feel extra special Does this mean likes affection? Yes, a hundred percent. Oh my god. Oh, they're doing it again I didn't even tell them to do this again. They're gonna do it first kiss They were staring it so intimately at each other and I feel like William just impulsively like moves forward and kisses her. Pretend they're on the couch. Impulsively moved forward, kissed her. She's surprised. And now he's like, oh my, oh crap. Why is woohoo an option already? Wait. Okay, they're back on the couch. I feel like William just kissed her is kind of explaining himself. And now Kanda is like, pulls him in closer to, <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, they're making out a lot. They won't stop. This is this is a, they keep like kissing and then uh, what? Why is the why is this animation so long? Like hello? Okay, okay. That it, that they had been doing that for a while. Oh my oh, now they're getting up. Oh, they're getting up. They're getting up. They're getting up. Where where to wait, wait. You're not going to go woohoo. Oh, it's this chat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Oh my gosh. Now she's kissing his neck. Okay, okay, all right. I know, I know this is a lot. I know this is very, very steamy, but what, I, I what if he's, she's kissing him and William is like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 please. Please stop, hold on, one sec. This is great, you're great. Everything about you is great. Okay, now we now he's holding her hand, is telling her. Okay, we're gonna have a deep conversation because I feel like William's like, oh, I'm so I just I this is this is good leading. I feel like it's leading somewhere, and William's like, I'm I'm sorry, I I don't just want us like hook up with you. Like I do, I do, but I don't. I don't want to mess this up. He's telling her. He's saying like I've just I've hooked up. <laughs> 
with a lot of people in the past. Oh, he's kissing her on the cheek, and he's like, I don't, I don't want to ruin this. He's, and now he's, he's telling her, he, he's saying, hold on. Okay, we're gonna confess attraction. I mean, obviously he is attracted to her, but he's just telling her, I want to slow this down because I really like you. Like, I, I thought it was just like a crush, but now I'm realizing like, I, hold on, no, not physical intimacy. I really like you. Declare love publicly, just, just, oh my god, he's singing to her! <laughs> and she likes it! Just, yeah, just saying like, I really like you and I don't want to ruin this. I don't want this to just be a physical thing, I don't want it just to start on that, to base it off of that. Obviously we've been friends for a bit, but I, I need you to know this. It has to be girlfriend. But just basically saying like, I see this kind of being a serious- th Why is she doing push-ups? Is she nervous? Just being like, I kind of see this as being a serious thing. And she's like, oh, um, I think Canada does really like him too, but she, she like is, she's getting a little nervous. She's doing push-ups. She, she's, she got a little bit nervous. Um, she, she's a little bit tense right now. She's like, um, yes, no, that's fine. That, that makes sense. Totally. A hundred percent. And William's like, okay, great. Um, I need to go cool off. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, go to the go to the bathroom. And give yourself a, like a pep talk in the bath. <laughs> Practice pick up lines. Work on awkwardness. That's perfect. He's like, I I will. I just uh, give me a second, please. Just one sec. I will be right back. Psych self up. Give yourself a pep talk. Yes. Work on awkwardness. Freshen up. Do all the things. Okay, I probably shouldn't control Kenda anymore. Um, but now he's like, okay, yeah, he's using the bathroom. And he's gonna go fresh it up. Kanda was just feeling like I the oh where'd she wait hold on wait what the hell where'd she go she was I literally just heard her cat what the hell wait yo she is booking it guys oh my god she's booking it uh... oh no William's gonna come outside. William was just practicing. He was working on his awkwardness. He's literally psyching himself up in this mirror. And now he's like walking out and is realizing she's gone and is like, what the hell? Oh my God. Okay. So I think we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, I think William's going to confront Kanda because he's like, what What the hell? We did see Kanda got a little bit nervous. She started doing push-ups to calm herself. She got a little bit uncomfortable. And then we're going to see Cedric and see what he's been up to these past few months and how he's handling the rest of his teenagedom because the series is almost done. The next episode will be the last one and it will kind of just set us into the start of season three of the royal family. So make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to see what happens next and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!